Last night was mad lit, bro. Hey, how oh, mad lit? Hi, people. Welcome to yet another time with me. Today, we'll be reviewing the drama Breaded Life. It's a Nigerian movie, a 2021 Nigerian movie. My name is Chacha Wabara, and um, I hope we have fun today. But today, like I said, Breaded Life has to do with a wonderful story, a wonderful tale that you know got me got me real good i was impressed i don't know about anyone i was impressed because of um bimbo ademoye i was impressed because bimbo ademoye brought out the best in timini this is perhaps the first movie i'm actually falling in love with timini um you have tina amba you have uh, bola biola sorry um you have Funny Bone, you have MC Lively, you have Bola and Lenin and all. <laughs> I don't understand this role there, but I will get I will get to that in a bit. Now this story and a host of other actors and actresses to numerous to mention. Now this story is about a boy, a guy, um, I think he's 22. 25 i don't know he just um was not just in tune with his mom tinamba who that, that's timini is the guy and tinamba is his mom and um they were not just in tune with each other uh, tinamba had tried her best to make sure that her son would go to school and timini would just did not want to go to school he would just spend time partying drinking and um you know womanizing like you know with so many chicks and he wouldn't care he wouldn't want to know he kept on changing course to course to course to course from engineering to this one to that one to that one and he just did not want to settle down did not just want to be serious his mom had gotten frustrated she had been she was exasperated she didn't know what to do so she told him to you know she even called the police on him and they arrested him he stayed in sanko <laughs> for a few days and they released him okay fine and good that part i understand that part good it was a storyline that just kept you just you know gradual telling it's just like me sitting down here and telling you the story yeah you get me mm -hmm. so that was what happened in this movie okay now this movie progressed to a point where tinamba called timini and said what do you want to do what do you want to do and he says he doesn't know what he wants to do and, and she says you have to think about what you want to do because you don't expect me to keep you know catering for your needs and all that and he says okay how about the trust fund if, and his mom told him the, the trust fund is not till you're 30 it was 35 i don't know can't remember yeah so he says, okay, you know what? Give me my passport. Let me go to my sister. And the mom is saying, no way. You can't go to your sister. You can't stress her life. You will stay here with me or whatever it is. Do it around. Do it in Niger. Okay, what do you want to do? And he says he doesn't know. Well, long and short of the story, his mom just gave him his passport, I think. And he goes to his room to pack up his things. And then we have um, MC Lively, who was always, who, who was the security guard um, at the gate. But, um, you know, was always following his august son to flex. So he too was also arrested because he let some people in and, and in the middle of the night. And this made Tinamba angry. She called the she called the police on them all. Okay, so the next thing that we're seeing is um everyone calling Timini a thief and all that. Literally, like everywhere he went to, his mom denied him. Everyone, nobody knew him. He looked at the picture in the sitting room. It, it showed that Tinamba had two daughters, not him. And he's like, Mommy, me now, mommy, me now. You know, that point, that part showed, you know, actual desperation actual confusion actual frustration actual fear from timini like the world was turning upside down even his friends did not recognize him and um it was it was it was a sorry situation and i was wondering i was even confused because i was like where are these people going with this are they able to uh, to handle this plot but what, what how are they going to resolve this it actually made me stop what i was doing to watch uh, most times i just keep on watching i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like 
what are these people trying to pull but this one this particular one i was actually intrigued I've, i i found this movie intriguing the storyline intriguing because i wanted to know just what the writer the producers the, the 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 director wanted to achieve okay and they really took me me that is so skeptical about Nigerian movies they took me in and i kept watching so you have the bimbo ademoye who is you know a, lo a local bread seller and she was the only one that seemed to recognize timini and she's like ah that's your house there now you know that kind of thing and he's like eh -eh. so you actually recognize me she's like eh -eh. You know, at that at that point in time, he was at the lowest of his low. So she took him in, gave him a place, spoiled boy, spoiled brat. He couldn't do anything. She was like, you go go find work or you go find work. Make the, you know, they get small, small money. You know, go feed. I want, you know, to be following her around every day while she's selling, while she's hawking her with her, her bread. No, but she helped him get a job, okay? And the different ways, it showed the nitty-gritty, how the poor, the rich in the poor, <laughs> those trying to do well, those trying to hustle the hustle, try, you see them in the gutter, they captured the slums, they captured all those inside places, the nitty gritty properly, it was something, as, as you're understanding the story, you're getting with the story, you're also looking at the places they chose for the location and how the, the actors and the actresses were able to identify and move in those locations. I like I liked Nkechi Blessing Sunday. She's always a joy to watch as well as I don't know, Bimbo Ademoye is on a class of her own. She was actually wonderful in it. She was so good. It just, you know, you know, an actress, an actor bringing that thing, that extra into, into the, into a role is what it takes to, you know, catapult a movie to brilliance or, you know, to mediocrity, you know, but this movie, really got me i don't know what other people are saying i don't want to know what other people are saying but breaded life was it for me at the end of the day he he, he realizes i don't want to be a spoiler in case you haven't still seen the movie it's a good watch timini was awesome timini was amazing timini was good tinamba played the role that she was supposed to play at first and um, i liked her and at the end of the day i'm like okay okay so what gives okay now the movie started and ended in a very one kind way i don't know why nigerians do this kind of rubbish that they always do you start good and then you end in a way that just keeps someone up why like i said you know i was wondering where they were going with that kind of plot because that kind of plot is very difficult to manage you can just spiral you know into something that you can't really you know control and which was what happened in this movie the end of the movie was nothing to write home about you know if this is going to be a movie you have two hours to you know get it in pass the message across keep the keep the viewers keep your viewers the audience you know glued to the screen and you know nail the nail everything down don't leave any questions as even if you feel that okay there will be a second uh, movie for it or a part two like i was saying a part two or something do the best in this first movie so they just made me you know when you're eating and you're not satisfied i was hungry for more not hungry for more like i damn this this movie is so interesting ah i wish it was so long no this is like after two hours i had an interesting movie but you know it was anticlimactic at the end of the movie so why would they keep doing this over and over again so which begs the question i'm wondering why are we doing this again i sometimes wish that um these actresses these you know actors will when they read the script when they read the storyline they'll be like okay should this end like this or should this be like this i think perhaps it will you know it will challenge the directors and the producers writers to do better right so which brings me to the end of this movie review i'll be rating it a seven over ten a six over ten rather yeah i'll be rating it a six over ten 
Thank you so much for joining me. Up there, you see my Korean movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, and then again, my movie reviews. I thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I'll be back. Thank you. Bye.